Training cattle to be controlled by herding dogs. Uh, this is one of the uh, best tools a man can have that owns cattle is a good herding dog uh, to control his cattle, to uh, get them up when he needs to get them up, to check them, the doctor on them, uh, uh, warm, just warm them in general, uh, uh, separate them, uh, uh, take his, separate the cow calf set up, to take his calves to market or wean them off or whatever he needs to do with the cattle. He, He's assured that he can get them up any time without a lot of stress and a lot of hassle and, and be a joy instead of a, a dread uh, to uh, work his cattle. Uh, it's, it's a joy just to watch the dogs handle the cattle. Uh, the main thing is, is teaching your cattle uh, to be controlled by dogs and move away from dogs. And they learn fast that if they move away, they can go the opposite direction from that dog uh, or, or move ahead of that dog and not turn around and try to fight him or not try to run off, that they won't be bit. It doesn't take them long to uh, learn this if they're uh, being worked by good herding dogs. I'm working with Callum's Don here in uh, older dog uh, Snowfield ship. I really didn't need ship, but the guy said these calves had been harassed by uh, stray dogs and they didn't know what it specs. So I put ship down to sort of help control if they decide they wanted to run off or, or whatever they wanted to do. So uh, this is just uh, uh, more or less uh, McCallum's Don working these calves, and you can see the power that he has and, and the gentleness that he has also. He's not out there harassing these cattle. He's just uh, making sure that they are coming to me. He knows where I'm standing and he knows where I want the cattle. And uh, he's making them come uh, straight to me. They, they'll try to vary off one side to the other and stop and turn around and go back. Uh, but uh, these dogs uh, keep them in a straight line. They tried to go off to the left then. Dogs come around and turn them back up the hill. Uh, we're going to a little old, uh, makeshift shed up here uh, and just put them in there just to uh, have a, a place that they know that they can come. And the dogs are, are quit bothering them once they uh, enter this place. Next time it'll be much easier. See Don just standing there looking at the cow and I. That's a that's a powerful dog. He can just stand right there and give that cow time to turn her head and turn around and move off. If not, he'll persuade her, uh, and and he'll keep on persuading us as she decides that it's uh it's better to to walk away than it is to stand there and fight. So, uh, but this is uh. McCallum's Don style of working. He just uh, just a great dog. And uh, this was in year 2000, and uh, he uh, he's deceased now. Uh, old age. Both of these dogs have one. The old ship dog died with a heat stroke while working, and uh, Don died with old age. And uh, both of them will be hard to. Replaced, never have replaced completely. McCallum and Don, I, I'd sure like to, but I haven't. Okay, this is uh, another herd here. A uh, small herd of uh, yearling bulls. Uh, it's in the same guy owns them that on the other herd. Uh, he wants to dog break these. He purchased a little McCallum dog and He's want to be able to get his cattle up with uh, with his dog, so uh, his his dog was not strong enough to uh, uh, move his uh, cattle by herself. So he wanted me to dog break him or uh, uh, get him used to being handled with uh, with dogs. And this is again McCallum's Don and uh, McCallum Blaze, Blaze being uh, a son of Sledge 
out of a daughter of Tim and Bruce. Uh, big, long, leggy, lanky dog with a lot, a lot of work. Uh, <coughs> he got killed by a cow at a young age. Uh, brought the cow back in and didn't even know he was hurt. And uh, he died uh, the next day. Uh, not even know what he was hurt till, he, till I got home and uh, got him out of the box. And uh, he acted sort of a little stiff, and I thought maybe he was just tired and got run over. And the next morning, he was in the kennel dead. Uh, but he died doing doing what he loved to do. Uh, as you can see, Don is using that power here again. These these bulls are a lot meaner than those. Uh, heifers were uh, and they, they continue fighting the dog really has to put some uh, bite on these bulls to to make them move they uh, absolutely don't want to to go to that barn they don't want to leave this pond area here uh, they'll fight every inch of the way but persistence that makes a difference when you got two good dogs and and both of them in there banging heads pretty good uh, Got them moved on up off the pond dam here and out in the field. They they move a little bit and stop and fight a little bit, but uh, these dogs are consistent in what they're doing, and uh, they, they soon learn that if they move away that they can uh, they can avoid that being uh, bit on the nose. Uh, if, if you can uh, ever see it. Two better dogs than what you see right here. I'd like, I'd like to own one of them. Uh, they were, they were absolutely fabulous dogs, and they worked and dog broke many, many a cows. No mama rank mama cows, calves, whatever you put them on, they would work and, uh, and do a good job of it. And I haven't been able to replace them yet. These, these old bulls here are getting a little soft now. they still turning around a little bit facing, but they're not charging after the dogs like they did to, to start with. And, uh, you'll see them give up here in a minute and then turn around and walk off. And uh, We'll take them on to the barn, and uh, next time they'll be a whole lot easier in the sky. Uh, be able to, you might have to get out there and help his little dog the first time or two but uh when she gains confidence in him and knowing he's going to be there to help her i think he can take her and uh pin these bulls and uh bulls didn't know me either and, and they probably know the guy and uh, they'll, they'll handle better for him uh, uh than they did for me uh but uh if, as you see they they still got a little fight in them but it won't be long now to you'll see them give up. There they go. They give give up the ghost and 